right, boys and girls, hopefully you have had some time to work on your phonics lesson and finish up those letter sounds and those blends. Um, I have one more video for today, and that is working on our math. And I told you we're going to do something brand new. All right, uh, we're working on page 107 and 108. But when you get it, of course, we always put that first name, last name. I know you're doing a great job doing that using our pencil. And mom and dad, a Beckham program uh, reviews everything a lot. So you see a lot. Again, numbers before um, addition. Uh, we see these almost on every page. But again, practice, practice, practice makes that progress. And these should be easy skills the kids should be able to do. We had always review our number families when we went through them. We talked about the 40 family, the 60 family, uh, the 30 family, 65, 60 family, and the teen. Uh, numbers 10 to 19, we, um, we call the teen family. And boys and girls, you can sing the song. Numbers in the teens, they start with one. Uh, that just helps that recognition. We want that to be quick so that they see those numbers and know those numbers quickly. Um, again, so you see this a lot on the Abeka worksheets. Numbers before, numbers after, addition, super easy. Um, you can do that. All right, the bottom, mom and dad, just pick a few numbers, practice writing, um, review that. As you're going through, uh, don't forget, uh, look over their papers if you would, give that feedback, positive reinforcement, stars, smiley faces, uh, the pat on the back, they need that positive reinforcement. But the new skill today uh, that we are going to talk about is uh, measurement. And boys and girls, um, you probably have one of these at home. Um, mom and dad, if you have one of these that you could show them, it's a ruler, all right? It's a ruler, and um, we would talk about why do we even measure things, or what do we measure? Uh, maybe mommy's going to get new curtains, and she's going to measure something. Maybe dad's um, building something, and you're going to measure. We need to know how long something is. So we talk about measurement, and why is that important, and why we need to do that. Now, a ruler isn't the only thing that we would use to measure, and boys and girls, if you can think of those things, what else would we use? Uh, maybe think if um, dad was working on something, he might not use a ruler, but he might use something called a tape measure. All right, so you can ask mom and dad. Uh, maybe they can show you a tape measure, what that is. Another thing we might use would be called a yardstick, and it's bigger than a ruler. It's a yardstick, and maybe they might use that. But um, measurement is important so that we know how long something is. Um, they might use that yardstick to measure how tall you are. Maybe you have a place in the house where they're keeping track of how tall you are and, and taking your measurements. If we want to know uh, how much we've grown, measurement. So measurement's important for a lot of reasons. And, and mom and dad, you can kind of chat about that, about measurement and why we use that and, and items that we measure. In kindergarten, mostly we're just going to be talking about measuring in inch. All right, so boys and girls, when I look at my ruler, I would see my ruler has a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, if I look down here, there are some other numbers and lines, but we're only going to concentrate on the numbers at the top. So mom and dad, if you are looking at this with them or you have one, we're only going to concentrate on the inch side in kindergarten, all right? Um, I know that can get a little confusing, but we're only going to talk about the numbers where they're big. I know they have all these little lines on there, but we're going to concentrate on the big numbers. And we're going to talk about using a ruler to measure in inches. And that's kind of one of our short I words we talk about, like inchworm. It makes that I sound. So we're kind of familiar with that I sound, inch. But we're going to call this inches, all right? And again, this is a new skill. This isn't something we've ever talked about, Mom and Dad. So you might need to practice that word. might take a while to get that. But we've got a ruler, measure in inches. And if we were at school, boys and girls, we'd reach into our cubby and pull out all kinds of different things to measure. So mom and dad, if you can, uh, let them use a ruler if you have one. Um, if you don't, that's okay, but uh, measure some things. And it's super important, boys and girls, when we measure, and uh, mom and dad, you might remind them of this, is that we always line up with what we're measuring at the very edge. It's not going to do me any good if I'm measuring over here and I'm not lined up here. 
So that's probably one of the harder things kindergartners kind of struggle with. They pick up their pencil, they want to measure, and then they're like, oh, it's, you know, nine inches. Well, we got to make sure, boys and girls, that we line up whatever we're measuring right here. Um, I pulled out a couple of things here. Piece of paper, pretty simple. I'm going to line it up. I put it right, oops, sorry, on top so that I can see my number, but I can also, now if you were laying this on the table, it's a little easier to do. But do you see how it's all lined? I take my finger and I'm matched up here, and then I can count over here, and I can see a six, and I would say this is six inches, this piece of paper. So it's kind of fun um, if you can look around, measure some items, pens, pencils, crayons, markers, um, and then um, maybe can walk around. Maybe there's something there wherever you're working, kitchen or um, in the living room that you could measure. Um, try to keep something small that's down in this area of um, inches, 12 or under if we can. Um, TV might be a little big. So if we can find items that they can walk around and measure and then just make sure that they're matching up here. That's probably the biggest thing they forget. And sometimes it might not be exactly on the number, boys and girls, and that's okay. If this was just a dash over, we might say it's six around six. But this one actually, you can see I measured. I've got my pen lined up. I've got that. That's also six inches, just like my piece of paper. So let me find something here a little smaller. Again, I'm in inches. I'm lined up here. First thing I want to do, and it's, how many is that? Yeah, you guys got it, three inches. So take some time, measure um, some items that you have there, maybe something in the drawer, um, a spoon, something that you can use. Ask mom and dad before you do that and measure, all right? We, uh, of course, would enjoy measuring things out of our cubby, walk around the classroom. It's always fun to, fun to find all those different things. So use uh, time. And again, if you don't have one, that's okay. Um, it's just kind of a fun thing to do is to measure because when you look at your paper, they did a little six inch. They only gave you a six inch, but they talk about what is more than an inch. And again, we're talking about the picture, not what a car would be in real life. So that can be a little confusing. Make sure we're just talking about inch on that. All right. And then on the back again, numbers before, after addition, and then you have to read this color word, or I'm sorry, number word, and you can sound it out, sound it out, and then you're going to do some coloring. Again, not scribble scrabbling. We're going to color in neatly um, the number word that it tells you. All right. Our number words are words. Uh, some of them we have to memorize. One and two, four, eight. Those are tricky word number words, but the rest of them you can sound out. Boys, uh, Mom and dad, they should be able to know their number words one to ten, either because it's a tricky word or a word that they can sound out. Um, if you need to, you can always take a piece of paper, separate pencil, write those numbers. Um, don't write them in order, but mix them up and practice and make sure they've got those number words. That's a skill they should have, number words. If they're tricky words, they've memorized them. If they're not, they can sound them out. All right, and then um, on the back is our more clocks. Now, yesterday we talked about our clock a little bit, and again, this would have been a lot of practice that we would have done in the classroom, but we continue talking about our hand is the shorthand, the minute hand, we know super quick how to tell time to the hour. What is it, boys and girls? Two o'clock, good job. Super easy when all we do is move the hour hand. But yesterday, uh, we started moving the minute hand. We hadn't done that. So I left the hour hand, but we started moving it. And we started talking about it. as we moved it, we counted by fives, 10, 15, 20, 25. And that became... 5.30. We counted by fives all the way down. It didn't stay right on the five like it was doing. That's super different than when we were doing time to the hour. Um, and mom and dad, that might be a little confusing, but when this hand starts moving, this hand, it has to move too. Whoops, sorry. And it's going to move, and so it's not exactly on the five anymore. That's okay, but it's going to be 
down here 30. And again, this is brand new, it might take some practice um, as we continue, and we'll continue doing that. Uh, today on our paper, they move the minute hand from 5, 5, 10, 15, 5, 15. Um, and we're going to practice this again on another day, but just a little heads up when you look at those four clocks on that page, um, it did move from five o'clock to the 15 spot and then the 30. But we'll continue to practice that. Um, it takes a little practice, not uh, unusual to get a little confused on that moving it and the um, numbers going from five zero zero five o'clock to five. 30 that we we don't put that zero zero i know that can be confusing so we'll practice this some more um but just a little heads up when you work on that paper today so all right so boys and girls i hope you've worked hard today i hope you're doing a great job with mom and dad i hope you're continuing to um do your best work remember mom and dad might do things a little different and that's okay do your very best and honor the lord uh working with them all right find your smile work hard and i'll look forward to seeing you again soon bye-bye